Hey everybody. Yep, as you probably noticed, I'm in the living room now. It is about 7.48 on this Friday. And you're probably guessing, probably going to be asking why am I here in the living room? Well, before I get into the topic, let me explain. See, my family member, my mother, has gone out to spend time with her fellow sisters from church at this uh, soiree, if you will, right down this direction. And basically they're going to have a good time there. My suspicion is she'll be back by maybe 9 o'clock, 10, 9.30 at the latest, maybe 10 at the latest. But around that time frame. But anyway, getting into my topic here. You're hearing it right. You, not hearing it, but you're reading it right. In case some people haven't talked about this yet. NXT is going to be crowning the first ever champion. That's right. NXT is actually created a championship to be given or rewarded to the first champion. Now the tournament took place, most of the tournament took place last night at the tapings in Full, sa in full Sail University. The participants were, from what I understand, Bo Dallas, Richie Steamboat, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, Jinder Mahal, and I think that's about it. If I'm missing somebody, I apologize. But that, so far, are the names that I know of. Seth Rollins, Jinder Mahal, Drew McIntyre, Bo Dallas, Alice, um, and Richie Steamboat, and among, among a few others. Now, the finals have been set. And in case you don't know who's in the finals, well, you're just going to have to Google and look up NXT spoilers for the next three weeks. Basically, type in July 11th, 2012 NXT spoilers, and you'll see what I mean. Now, the question is, is this a good thing for NXT? And I have to say yes, it is. Because now you have every single individual, even if they're part of a tag team, striving to be the best on NXT. See, the NXT Championship, believe it or not, is the holy grail of NXT, obviously. It's the next step to the main roster. It's the next step to superstar. Now, the names I've named off, the people I named off, you might say to yourself, why was Drew in it? Why was Jindo in it? What was the point? They're not NXT. And I think McGillicuddy was in it too. Yeah, I think McGillicuddy was in it. I'm not really sure. But anyway, you might say to yourself, well, wait a minute. McGillicuddy was in it? M Mahal was in it? McIntyre was in it? What's the point? These guys aren't NXT. They're supers. The guys that are on SmackDown and Raw. Let me explain something. See, NXT is primarily is primarily focused on the FCW individuals. Now, with that said, the NXT Championship is the next step for them. Now, what WWE does with the NXT Championship is totally up to them. It's totally up to them. Whatever they do will impact WWE, believe it or not. Because if you think the NXT champion is just going to want to sit by knowing he's a champion of the WWE and not say, hey, am I going to be able to get on pay-per-view? Believe it or not, this might get that person that pay-per-view opportunity. But is it a good thing? And as I mentioned before, yes, it is. Will it last? Hard to say. It's hard to say. But at least it gives those who are part of NXT something to strive for and gives those that want to take that opportunity to get to that next level, to be a breakout star, the chance to be just that by being a champion, by proving that they can win a championship, be that champion, and say, hey, if I can win this, 
I can win a tournament to be the first ever NXT champion, hey, I can go on and I can be the champion of the Intercontinental or U.S. divisions or the world or WWE divisions. That is why they have this NXT tournament going and why they're going to crown an NXT champion, in my opinion. Now, again, as far as the participants, I will agree that perhaps maybe putting Mahal, McGillicuddy, and McIntyre, maybe, I don't know, I can't think of this anymore, in the tournament, maybe that wasn't that, be, maybe that wasn't that good of an idea. Okay? But here's the thing. McIntyre, Mahal, McGillicuddy, Kid, if they're still going to keep him on there or something, the reason they're on NXT is to improve. It's for them to up their game and say, hey, you don't want to be here on NXT? And you want to be back on the main roster all the time? Guess what? Here's your opportunity. Here it is. You guys got to take this tournament seriously, try winning, and then you'll get your opportunity. I guarantee whoever wins the finals, and again, you want to find out about that, look up, Google up spoilers for NXT for the next three weeks. You, I guarantee this, whoever wins the finals, that will be the person WWE gets behind as being the future of the company, being the one main one of the main focuses in futures of the company. I mean, you think they create NXT just because, you know, they want to have another brand? No, they don't. They create NXT for a reason. Take Wade Barrett, one of the more successful reasons. Take Caval, low key, another, well, an unsuccessful reason, but a previous winner. Caitlin, Hasn't really done much, and she still, if they wanted to do a storyline about it, still has that Divas title shot. She has yet to cash in. Get what I'm saying? Then you have Johnny Curtis, who's back on NXT, and I think he was in the tournament, maybe not. And yet, he has a title match in his future, tag title, he's got to find himself a partner. If he wants to do a storyline that. The thing is, folks, NXT now has a purpose. And that is why the championship tournament and the championship was being has been created. For it to have a purpose. For it to for there to be a reason for those that feel, hey, I sh that feel, like let's say a Drew McIntyre or or a Jinder Mahal or a or a McGillicuddy or whoever else. It gives them a purpose to be like, you know what? I've competed in, on SmackDowns. I've competed on pay-per-views. I've competed on Raw. Why am I here? Why am I here on this show? It gives them a reason to be there now. It gives them the reason to say, hey, if I can be the champion of this rookie show or this developmental show, then I can be champion of SmackDown. A champion in the WWE either on SmackDown or Raw. You see that that to me, ladies and gentlemen, is why WWE's created this championship. Now the question is, should they have done it beforehand? You're damn right they probably should have. I give you that. They should have did it last year, giving those guys a reason. Instead of turning it from an NXT redemption show, which was NXT like, to nothing more than another Superstars or another version or modern day version of wrestling challenge. The truth is, they should have done that right off the bat in the get go in the redemption season. Hey, they could have done that right from the beginning when they began NXT. You know, allow someone like Wade Barrett to become champion and then go on to win NXT and say, hey, look, I held the belt all the way to the end. I'm the winner. Guess what? I get a future title shot. The point I'm trying to make, and a lot of you will agree, is this gives the show meaning now. Now the only question is, will they add any more championships? Well, you got some women on there. Do you think they might add an NXT Divas Championship? Perhaps. A tag championship? I don't really know about the tag titles. But I will say this, if they can add at least a Divas Championship 
to be like the stepping stone for the ladies there to say, hey, I'm the Divas Champion of NXT, which means I'm capable of becoming the Divas Champion of WWE. Hey, so be it. At least it gives the show meaning, not just for the fans watching it, either online or in other countries, wherever, but it gives meaning to everything else. That's what it does. It gives meaning. That's what it does, and that's what it always will do. So, that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, but to me, honestly, I think it's a good thing. I think possibly an addition maybe of a Divas title in the near future, if they want to go with that, is a good thing. So, let's just hope and s let's just pray they go somewhere good with this concept for NXT. Again, it gives you a reason to want to watch it, be interested in it, intrigued by it and gives those involved in it an, a reason for being part of NXT for going down the, to Full Sail University and competing on that show. So comment down below, tell me what you think, video response if you like. I'll talk to you all later.